Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. If you are an individual affected by a layoff, or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible, or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Friday, April 12th, 2024. If you're an individual affected by a layoff, or if you're a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible, or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. Universal Logistics, a logistics company based in Warren, Michigan, is permanently shuttering two of its subsidiaries and laying off a total of 677 employees for a WARN notice filed with Michigan. The two subsidiaries in question are Logistics Insights Corp. and Universal Dedicated of Detroit, which is an auto parts warehousing and logistics facility. The majority of the employees affected by the layoffs are truck drivers, warehouse workers, and forklift operators, with some clerical staff impacted as well. No reason was provided for a cessation of operations, nor is there reporting on whether the employees will receive transitionary support. The Ann Arbor Public School Board of Education voted to approve teacher layoffs last night to help make up for a $25 million budget shortfall. Teachers, parents, administrators, and students were outside the building protesting layoffs. In particular, the fact that $14 million of the $25 million deficit is apparently due to an accounting error. The district is claiming that the rest of the deficit comes from loss of enrollment, an increase in staff, and a rise in staff payments. The board approving the motion does not mean layoffs are imminent right now, but they will probably occur in the near future. Finally, Ghost Autonomy, a Mountain View, California-based startup that built autonomous driving software, announced that it has shut down. Ghost Autonomy had raised $220 million in funding, But per CEO John Hayes, that was not enough money to keep the company going for long enough to bring a product to market in the consumer automotive sector. More than 100 employees across California, Texas, and Australia are getting laid off and will be receiving severance pay. Lastly, we are one of the leading global outplacement and career consultancies on the planet. If you are interested in resume assistance, career planning, or coaching assistance for yourself or your staff, please don't hesitate to reach out to me today. 